Hey guys, um, so I did tell you guys that um, my mom had contacted the Better Business Bureau of Massachusetts for me and um, they sent a message to Converse uh, last night. Um, the, uh, today at 3.50 p.m. I just checked. It's, it's 4.28 but they sent it to me at 3.50. Um, You can see, oops, all right, there we go. Maybe you can see that. See, Converse, Converse design your own. They actually finally sent it to me. Um, but on the email it says that they are going to give me my money back. Oh, and you know the thing is, when they give you your money back, they give it back to you in a gift card for their website. Now what I'm going to try to see is if they're going to be able to give me my money back and get me a reorder of my shoes because um, with all the trouble they put me through I think I deserve a little compensation but let's see what this thing says here show content all right dear valued customer thank you for designing your own converse hold on let me let me uh, zoom in for you guys you can read this with me. Thank you for designing your own Converse. We sincerely apologize that you had to return your shoes. Due to the fact that your shoes were custom made specifically for you, we are unable to resell your returned merchandise or refund your credit card. However, we are committed to making sure that you have the Converse shoes that you want and need. Therefore, we will email you your refund in the form of a virtual gift card that, we can, use, that can be used on www.converse.com or any of our U.S.-based Converse store locations once we process your return. For store locations, please see our retail locator on www.converse.com. Attached, you'll find a return form that has been partially filled in for you by a member of our Converse team. And um, that took about uh, 72 hours, just letting you guys know. For some reason, it took them 72 hours to fill it out. I guess it's that hard. Um, sorry. Um, please make sure everything is filled in completely and correctly before you return your shoes. You'll need to print the form and return it with your shoes. Please detach, detach the UPS ARS return label and use it to ship your shoes back to us. By using this label, you will not have to worry about paying UPS when you drop the package off at your local UPS office or give the package to your UPS driver. Please just follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the attached form. Now it is time for me to call them. So, um, first of all, I gotta go to their website, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna turn this off, and, um, if it cuts out any points, if they ask you to say your whole name, and I don't want you guys knowing my whole name, so. Yeah, alright, see when I'm calling them? Yeah. This may take a little longer than I thought. Maybe they noticed it was me and didn't want to answer. It's been a minute 33 already, but I've been on hold.
I think I'll start up recording when I'm actually auto hold. They don't they might not have that many people working there, so you can't get someone to me. Um, I finally received the return label today. Mm -hmm. um, on the email, it said I was going to be given or emailed a gift card. Um, am I getting that and a reshipment of my shoes? Did you say 10? Yes. Um, the shoes cost- Are you talking about, about the gift card that we will send you for, for, the, for the label, for, for the pair of shoes? I'm sorry, I need you to repeat that. Are you, are you talking about, about the, the credit that we issue for the shoe that you send it back to us? Yes. Okay, um, see what I was told initially was that once I sent my shoes back that uh, you guys were going to um, get a new pair of shoes put together for me. compensation uh, at all for all the trouble, huh? We can send you a $10 gift card for your inconvenience, but... Okay, thank you. Okay. So we'll go ahead and escalate this to the supervisor that way they can go ahead and make a replacement order for you. 
for the product. And okay. I'll send the link in person via email as well. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I have a nice day. Thank you. Now that went better than the last time I had called. I don't even know if I saved the recording. Let me check. I don't even know if I saved it. I might have not even saved it. I don't know how much you guys heard. Let's go down to music and see if we got a recording. Hey, we do. Got a recording. And I'll play that back for you guys here in a minute. But now it seems they're going to give me a gift card of $10. That is not very much that you can do with $10 on their site. But at least I got $10 for my trouble. And um, apparently they're going to be sending me... They're going to get a new order put together for my shoes. Awesome. Um, now, the problem is a lot of their... I don't know if you guys heard her accent, but a lot of the people at their customer service have accents and it's hard to understand them but hopefully they'll come through with this and I get my shoes All right. so now all I have to do is send these and pretty good huh well that was resolved a lot better than I thought it would be so, yeah, that was fun. I will uh, play you guys back the uh, call, I guess. Maybe. Okay. Well. Yeah, that was fun. A lot more fun than the other days, guys. I mean it. Um, if you're having trouble with these places, try the Better Business Bureau of their state. Or their city because um, after the Bear Business Bureau contacted them they sent me my label oh. and apparently all I have to do is drop off the suckish shoes that have class spelled incorrectly now all we have to do is hope that when they do send me the other shoes I mean I won't be able to wear them to graduation like I had hoped unless they get some kind of rushed shipping at no price, at no fee to me. I think I'm probably gonna gonna call them after um, I do send off the other shoes. That way, this doesn't end up getting like lost again. Yeah. Well, let's get to that recording, shall we? Guys, um, um, I just reviewed the film earlier, and you guys, I think you guys heard everything that you need to, but I'm keeping the recording in case, you know, in case I need to. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to ship off the shoes, which means I have to print the label tonight. Uh, gonna print it tonight, and then um, we still didn't cut my hair, but I'm gonna take a shower tonight, and I think I cut it. So it's gonna be amazing. And um, yeah, they were gonna take it to a UPS store. I was gonna arrange a pickup, but it was gonna cost eight dollars just for standard UPS ground. So that's not good. And uh, like I said, this was the next video that you guys are going to see. So I was waiting for more drama on the phone, but I am so glad that that's over with. And all I have to do is lower my tripod <laughs> and you guys can see me a little bit better. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe I'll, uh, show you the UPS place. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I only have two gigabytes of space left in my uh, storage device. Only two gigabytes left. 
and I still have videos that I need to edit and put together, and so I don't know what to do. Still waiting for a job application callback. So I may have to limit the time that I take on my videos, guys, or take less videos and just put up music on YouTube because I can take lots of pictures this month. Yay! Oh, and I was going to enter a competition done by Songbird Ocarinas, and I need to take a video of that. So that's going to take up some space on my camera and stuff. We'll see what I can do with the, uh, with the space. Hopefully. <laughs> Because if I can't do something about it, I'm going to scream. Oh, only two gigabytes left. How am I going to do this? And you know what's funny is, since I, I, I need to check, like, the quality looks good on my HD, close to HD output and regular output. I don't know, maybe I should go back to regular output because it does take up a lot of space. But if, I mean, if it's the same amount of megabytes for a five minute video um, with HD output and regular output, then it'll be fine. And I want to change it. So anyways, yes guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow when I drop off the package. Maybe? I don't know. I'll probably bring my camera with me. I'm addicted to it. I love you, camera. It's awkward. I'm going to go before things get any weirder. No, nope, you know, it could get weirder, but this is probably the weirdest it's gonna get. You're telling your camera that you love it. I'm gonna go. Bye guys. Thanks for listening to all that. Uh, shoot.